Hi guys, I wasn't sure whether I was going to, but um, I thought I would just take some footage just in case, but we are on a cruise. Um, I've been talking about this cruise for a really long time, and the only reason why I haven't vlogged it is just because it's been absolutely hectic with a baby. It's definitely been a different experience. Husband's been joking it's been a holiday from hell. Um, I don't think so at all. I think we've been having a really good time. I'm feeling much more relaxed than usual. Um, I don't know if he is, but that's okay. I'm doing a lot less than I normally would. And we are, yeah, there's Emmett. Um, and we are just about to stop in Numea, which is the capital of New Caledonia. It's a French-speaking Polynesian, I think Polynesian, it's a Pacific Island country. Um, temperatures are warm, it's going to be 26 degrees, and then after today we stop at Mare and Isle of Pines, which I've been to before, which I think is called Ile de Pines, or something like that. I can't speak French, so I've probably got the pronunciation all wrong. Um, yeah, so basically, if I get the chance, what I'll do is give you a bit of a ship tour. Um, I'll show you some sites and things. I think it'll just be one video because I really wanted to vlog each day. Um, but yeah, as I said, with Emma, it's just been hectic and it's definitely not going not gonna to happen. So yeah, um, I'll chat to you guys all soon. show you around the ship while it's really quiet and I don't look like a moron walking around talking to myself. places that you stop at and um, Charlie's bar where we spend a fair bit of our time the main atrium so this is 400 gradi which is one of the specialty restaurants on board and you can pay to eat at we haven't eaten here yet um, but I'm gonna try and book in for lunch tomorrow on our second last sea day um, it's very nice it takes up like a big sort of section and you can look down to the atrium so that's cool um, we could book dinner but we find that probably the lunch is the like our least favorite meal of the day well dylan's particularly not mine i'm not as fussy um but yeah so it's by johnny de francesco who's a melbourne pizzeria guy um and he won at one point the yeah world championship pizza for the best margarita pizza in the world beating out all the italians in italy so yeah it's very um very nice now this is the Black Circus. I really love this. I think it's really pretty. Um, it's got quite an ornate ceiling. Lots of lounge style seating, a big bar, and then lots of like intimate, you know, two seaters and lounges. Beautiful, as I said, ornate sort of theatre style ceiling. Could barely speak then. Um, as I said, like this carpet is so nice compared to other cruise ships I've been on. I'm so glad they've chosen like tones of blues and blacks and less browns. A lot of other cruise ships I've gone on really go with the brown nooked style seating as well. Um, tends to get filled up pretty quick, but great spots for reading, especially on sea days. So yeah, blue room here. This is called the Blue Room. We've only been in here briefly for a drink, but it's pretty cool. It's got lots of little tucked away nooks. It's dark and moody, and they have live music in here. It's really nice. There's only one bar we're not allowed to go to with Emmett, which is called the Bonded Store. It's a really small little bar. But as you can see, it's quite large, but it does they do fill up and as you can see there's a band area down here. I'm really impressed with the decor so I'm not sure who you, 
who did the decor, but I'm really impressed with the refurbishment they've done on this ship. I feel like it's got the least offensive carpet I've ever seen on a cruise ship. There's the bonded store, which is the bar that Emmett's not allowed in. I really like it. It's cool. It's got like dark English pubby kind of vibes. Again, the ceilings in here are really nice. And the decor, like, I feel like they've really executed that well. The internet cafe is there, little one that's the casino ceiling, which is cool. There's lots of cool seating areas on the Explorer. More nooked seating. This is the ocean bar. I'm gonna walk up and get a coffee in a moment. In through here is the Explorer Hotel. This is where they do a lot of trivia, um, karaoke, and it's got a kind of contemporary Englishy pubby vibe, I guess. Um, we've been here quite a few times. I think we'd spend a lot of time in here if it wasn't for Emmett. It's nice and light and airy, um, lots of soft tans, green, beige. And again, like, I just really feel like the decor is really nice on this ship. Like some of the stuff I would like in my own home. Um, more little nook seats that you can see. And as you can see, this is quite large. So I'll just show you. Let's walk you this way. So we are docked currently in Numea. You can walk out on deck seven, which is pretty cool when it's moving. Oops. So this is deck 14. This is Luke's bar, which sells burgers and things. I haven't eaten there, it costs money. Oh wait, sorry, this is Pino Edge, I lie. Luke's is directly below. And we're in Yumea today. This is the main pool deck. It's got a big pool there. Well, it's well, big for a cruise ship. Another pool up there, all the deck chairs and things. Um, it's a Pacific Explorer, it's a pretty nice boat. I've been on three other P&O boats, this is my fourth cruise and I feel like this is definitely my favourite boat so far for sure. Lots of cool public areas, the rooms are smaller but I feel like I'm prepared to sacrifice that considering we're only really in it to sleep. Pino Edge is mostly like kids do it and you can do like zip lining, rock climbing, walk the plank, um, that kind of stuff. Like probably kids from like maybe eight and up seem to really enjoy it. I've got a wide angle on, <clears throat> my new camera is cool. There's Dylan and Emmett. Say hi. No. Nah. <laughs> New Caledonia, um, well not, sorry, New Mia, is an interesting place because it's a really wealthy country because they export nickel. So as you can see, it's really industrial over there. Um, and then it's surrounded by sea and mountains. It's like picturesque, but industry. Probably a prime example of the modern world, really. sort of see hopefully there I'll zoom in a bit further there's water slides too on this ship we haven't been on them yet I don't know if we will obviously because we have Emmett um, it has three four restaurants that are included in the cost which I'll show you guys later uh, it has an Italian restaurant an Asian restaurant a kind of modern Australian restaurant and the buffet and then there's a number of other restaurants that you can go to but you just have to pay for as well We've got an F45 gym all the way over in Numia. See how they've got kind of like the bunion trees in like Hawaii as well. Like a everything shop. <laughs> they got Easter things. And oh, they got digital price tags here. Oh, they still got all the same brands and things. <laughs> what do you mean by native? Primitive. <gasps> wow. 
a drink package. We pre purchased it. It was $19 a day. It includes all hot coffees, iced coffees, hot chocolates, glasses of soft drink, bottles of water, glasses of juice. So I'm definitely getting my money's worth. I'm not drinking a lot of alcohol. Okay. Um, out of 120 something people and like maybe 40 teams, Dylan and I won this cat potato challenge. I had to go up. No surprises there because like I'm super TV and movie obsessed. But anyway, Dylan got to see my very competitive side. I really don't feel like I'm by the decor that I'm on a Pino ship, like it's very different. I haven't been on, I must admit, I haven't been on the other ships since they've been renovated, but compared to other times that I've been, I've been really impressed. Like, I just feel like it's a really beautiful decor. So, well done. Okay, really Mare, you said it's not that great because I've been living in probably not super good here, and that's just a bit like, um, yeah, if I've been here with some of the local housing, possibly. We just really have come on not fabulous today. So like as you can see it's beautiful but the weather it's gone off a little shuttle bus it's going to take us back to um, the main part of the island and now we're just having a little bit of a wander um, before we get back on the tender and go back to the boat and get some lunch so just see the ship in the background it's very pretty but yeah um, not a lot of it's accessible to tourists which is probably fair enough This is our third last day we get back. We've got three more nights, um, three more days. So we've got an island today and then we've got two sea days. And um, then it's all over, which is a bit sad, but I feel like I've had a good break. I don't know if Dylan feels the same. He hasn't been quite used to traveling with a little baby, but I'm used to it because it's my everyday. Um, but yeah, we've had a really good time and I definitely would always recommend cruising if you've never done one before. Um, I think they're a really great relaxing holiday. Yeah. You enjoying yourself? Are you enjoying yourself? Sure. That's very vague. Are you having a good time now? Sure. Sure. Hey Emmett, are you having a good time? Yes, Mum. Today we're at Isle of Pines, which is a really gorgeous island. I'm on a gorgeous Isle of Pines. to have a swim. I'm not snorkeling today just because it pops a lot and I didn't really have the chance to drink Emmett and Dylan, but yeah. Nobody at this end of the beach at all. So we've walked really far. I can see the ship in the background. Look. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, we're walking along. There's pretty much no one on here. We don't know why we didn't walk along here earlier in the day, but it's gorgeous. And um, we've got a couple of hours before we're going to be back on the ship, so we're just going to explore. So we made it all the way to the other end, and it is glorious. This is exactly why I like cruising, just this perfect. Anyway, if you ever come to Isle of Pines, I strongly recommend just walking all the way around the beach at the front of it, where there are literally heaps and heaps and heaps of little fish. So many. Just, just chilling right near the shore. I have no idea why people wouldn't walk all this way. There's nothing here. massage and a full body massage and a facial um, they have a special so if you're on a cruise always look out for specials it's still not cheap but it's like 160 dollars or something like that um yeah and we're about to go have lunch at the restaurant ready where's it going ah, long hand <laughs> Main 
deck, so this is it. This is our last night. We're having a walk around the deck. We just had dinner at 400 Gradi, which is a pizza restaurant. Um, as you can tell, it's very windy. Um, and yeah, John's gonna get a Tomori cocktail, the hint is it. I think I might get a New Zealand natural ice cream. I don't know if we can fit in, but we're gonna walk a bit first. And that's it. Then we'll go to bed and up in the morning and find a breakfast and um, check out the water slides. We didn't actually end up going on these, we were supposed to. Oh, we didn't get around to it. certainly different than cruising with that baby um, but it's been a really enjoyable time I'm feeling much more relaxed than I did at the beginning of the cruise um, yeah so you can see any lights behind me I don't want to go home um, but I think Emmett's ready he's been only having probably like 10 and a half 10 10 and a half hours sleep max a night so um, he's definitely been napping as well but yeah I think he's ready He's ready to go home. Yesterday, I think, I don't know if this was said, but I had a massage, which was really nice. Um, Start with being truly wonderful. And yeah, I'll just show you around the rest of the ship. And um, yeah, good job. How many are there? One, two, three, four, five. So we are sitting here waiting to get off. Holiday is over, which is really sad. I'm feeling very sad. Dylan's, um, Dylan thinks I'm a loser. But anyway, I just um, really enjoyed cruising and I'm going to miss all the stuff and I'm going to miss the activities and I'm going to miss just the relaxing and just all of it. So I'm looking already like, what could my next holiday be? So I hope you've enjoyed watching. I know it hasn't been as comprehensive as I would have liked, but it is hard when you have a toddler chasing after a toddler. But I hope you got a bit of a sense of what it's like to be on board a cruise and on board the Pacific Explorer. And I will chat to you guys all later. Thanks for watching. I forget, as always, if you enjoy the content, please like and subscribe to my channel. Bye.